All right, guys, welcome back to another Warframe video. So in the last video, I did uh, my kind of first impression with my own setup of Dante. I had played him a little bit in the circuit, uh, but uh, kind of dug through him to get a real sense of exactly how the abilities function. The good news is I was on the right path, uh, but after reading everything myself, it makes a lot more sense. And uh, my takeaway from the first playthrough is identical to how it was in the circuit. He is a really strong frame, um, and I absolutely believe that he is now the third for sure in my lineup of Steel Path capable frames. Uh, I want to show you a couple other things I've got going in the background. Um, the first is Hildren uh, was this week's or maybe last week's uh, Daviri Circuit Path pickup. So it did require some farming of the Exploiter Orb, uh, but the Thermia Fractures event is up right now, so it was just impeccable timing. So I do have Hildren going, and you'll also catch in the background I have a Wisp Prime going. Uh, I had a few prime parts for them uh, from Relics, and then uh, when I was going to do the weekly Maru's Bazaar, I saw somebody had the missing parts, so I uh, interacted with, you know, the trading with characters and finished them off. Uh, part of me feels a little bit cheated because I've been sending my uh, deployable extractor down for weeks now trying to get the hex xenon without having to run uh, strictly Railjack to get it, which is obviously the fastest way, but... I was getting super close, uh, but now I have a prime variant about to be done. So I'll have, I think that'll be my third prime frame. Got Zephyr, Rhino, and I think Wisp will be the third. So that's a couple fun things I got going in the background. And then I have also been grinding over in Fortuna. Um, I am at the daily standing cap for the next three hours, uh, but the next cap push should get me the next rank up to tier four. Uh, so one step closer to finally getting Garuda. Uh, but today what I wanted to do is resume a little bit of Steel Path play with Dante. Um, the two I have open right now are both um, defense mission. One is Corpus and Orkin. The other is um, uh, Infestation. So I already have my setup for Corpus because I had been playing on Venus anyway. That's where I left it. So we're going to start with Tessera first. If I get a group, wonderful. If not, not the end of the world. Uh, and then we'll swap it up from Bane of Corpus to Bane of Infested to jump over to Romula. Maybe it unlocks one more if I get Tessera done, but I don't think so. I think I have to do this first. And then maybe it maybe it'll open Killikin or Velus. I don't really remember the order of operations. Either way, we're going to start with Tessera. So jumping back in for a little more Steel Path play and uh, my second uh, crack at it with Dante. Uh, he is really impressing me so far. Um, so we're just going to jump back in. Uh, let's see. Yep, Steel Path. Or I could do a Lith Fisher defense. I think for my purposes, I will stick to regular defense. You know, if I get a group, wonderful. If not, we'll, we'll see how well we can get through it soloing. Do a little skip. Their rage is vehement, their focus impressive. Yep. Give them all warriors death. Okay. Just give a little bit of time here for my energy to go up. I think I have it maxed at 540, which is a very generous amount of energy in my opinion. May as well get myself a little overshield to start. Might have somebody that's just jumped in. So, yep, let's give them a little overshield as well. Hop in the elevator. I'll do a little generic. I'll wait one more. I think we have one more coming. That's good enough for me as well. All right, on where we go. It's always awesome when you get a group on defense. Even in normal, I, I just, you know. Where are we headed? What's up above us? Let's 
give everybody a nice bit of overshield. Dante Dante doing his Dante thing. He is a strong frame, I have to say. I am just really, really impressed with his performance. Beautifully done, squad. And really, his energy economy is no problem with the setup I've got. It's popping up a plenty. Didn't actually mean to jump down there, obviously, but that's okay. Like everybody's still got plenty of other shield here. We'll just take him out real quick. Guess they're gonna jump down from above. We'll find out here in just a second. Yep, squad looks good on health and shields. Man, Dante, this is just a good frame, guys. It's a really good frame. I gotta say, I am just absolutely impressed with how he performs. Yeah, and kind of like most of the frames, like some of them on the surface sound a bit more complicated than they actually are. But once you actually get in there and start playing with them, you realize, oh, they're actually straightforward. So some of the setup and descriptions sound a lot more involved than they really are in practice. Everybody topped off. What do we have? Fully healed. 
and shield it up. Yeah. Well done, Dante. Imminent value in this frame. Yep. That way, you cheeky bugger. You know, I do remember this defense mission. On steel path, this just hits so hard. Where are they? And look, if you gotta or wanna pull out your weapon for a couple shots, it's no big deal. Everybody's still looking good on the health front. Yep. Yep, looking good. We're dropping from above again. Look at all this oxygen too. It's fantastic. I'm good on an extract. That would get us through it. But that was well played, squad. Well, well played good indeed. Yep, a little steel essence. Arcane pushing 100 Oxium, 260 Endo. Not a bad little run. Let's see who everybody's using. Revenant, Protea, and I don't know who the other one was. I feel like we probably had a really good squad there because... Uh, there were absolutely no issues whatsoever, pretty much for anybody on the squad that was in there. Um, it's it's going to be a little different once I get into one that's a solo. Okay, capture, steel path. And Linnea, a rescue. What is this on steel path mode? Nightmare rescue. That's low gravity and standard rescue on steel path. Okay. Uh, why don't I try Capture first? I'm going to try Venera. I think I'm going to try this solo uh, since these are, you know, not quite the same as keeping an objective from being destroyed by high-level enemies. This is kind of the test because since I've done this, it's all been, you know, defend this point. Um, so this will be a better test, a Capture mission. But I feel like it's going to perform great. We'll skip that. These are worthy foes. Get my energy up first. At your peril. Yeah. 
May as well just max it while I'm standing here. I think it can show up a little higher than that. One more. I think that's max. So I'll recast some energy back. We cannot let our target know we're here. Track them down quickly. Yep, so long as you're dropping energy, we're good. Any energy for me? Nope, but that's okay. Let's do one more Wellspring cast, and then we'll get on our merry way. I feel really good about Dante, guys. Really, really good. I caught on oh because he kind of kind of glides stay focused there's a heavy unit approaching target located bring them in let you keep them off of me give me plenty of time to pick them up I got plenty of overshield here. Mission complete. The captain yeah, guys. has been escorted to the extraction point. I mean, well done. Dante. Dante. I'm sure that as the difficulty ranks up, it'll move the needle, you know, a little less in Dante's favor. But in the immediate here and now, he is just working super. Herbly. Oh, not in there, but I guess we can pick that up. That's fine. Hey. We came, we did what we needed to do, which is capture our target. Not a problem whatsoever, guys. Okay. And the other next one I had was a capture that opened up new, as well as that infested defense. So, you know, before I say wholeheartedly, yeah, 100%, maybe like an exterminate or something like that would be another good test. Especially as, uh, you know, there's always the opportunity for acolytes to pop into stuff like that. Your weapons make music, and the enemy calls for a song. will only get more difficult. Get to a terminal and prepare for enemy resistance. Okay. I'll be taking that. I don't want to go too far because I don't want uh, to engage just quite yet. Okay, we're getting there. Of course, we also have our uh, full armaments, including uh, Latum and Karnan, which obviously works quite well if I can get that proc'd. 
You're still in the clear. No detection from enemy sensors. Let's go for one final push. A wellspring. Should be able to hit our 840 cap here. I believe it's 840. 839, good enough. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna Stay consider focused. doing There's is this. Unit approaching. Got our Latum incarnate at the ready. Okay, so let's go pick this back up. Now I'll push forward, and with any luck, Here we'll be terminal. off to the races. Get me in and get ready to defend. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Continue to defend. Okay. Yeah, big old flood of enemies here. So far, so good still, though. Absolutely use that when we need to. Just gotta keep them from damaging the hub. Okay, that's the first one. We got it. Go back, pick up a little additional energy. No need to continue messing with those guys. We'll just push straight through. And then we're gonna wash, rinse, repeat. The exact same tactic. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang out back here. Whoops. We're gonna, nope, oh, we're already at max. So all we need to do is get our energy back to full before we go push in again. Up the lone soldier, it's no problem. Just in case there's an energy orb in there. We've still got the data mass in our hand. Okay, that should be more than enough to push us up to where we need to when we get out here. So we're gonna go make the push for it again. Here we go. Stay focused. Drop it. There's a heavy unit approaching. Incarnate and laid them at the ready. Reached. Drop me in and defend our position. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Yeah, I mean they come in hot and heavy. Still working on it. Continue to defend.
Yep, went down there. That's okay. Not the end of the world. We are finished here. Move on. Okay, we do have Malice in here. Which, while I'm low on energy, I'm not sure I want to mess with Malice right now. Maybe he'll give chase, maybe he won't. So I'm just going to set out up here. Get ourselves shielded up. One more. down. That's one. That did take a good chunk of Terminal energy. Spotted. So I don't want to do this quite yet. To defend. Cast a little more energy back. Try to clear this handful of enemies real quick. Okay. Got a few more cheeky buggers in here. Alright, let's go pick this back up. Gonna drop that there. Get myself a little extra protection. Probably do two rounds here. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Then I'm gonna cast a bit more energy back. Now I'm gonna throw it in here. Let's do it. I'm in, Tenno. This will take a moment. Pretty big Still onslaught of enemies, guys. Continue to defend. Can we keep it going? A couple more seconds. And we got it. So yeah, um, it, it is obviously a bit hectic. You know, they come flooding in and it is still path level enemies. But if you're just patient enough and you can wait on it, uh, those are doable too. And this is probably one of the more bonkers game mode types to be trying solo on Steel Path just because of how they constantly flood at the point. If you're going to try to do one solo. Uh, but yeah, well. just a small little tweak to the setup. And he did just fine. He did just fine. 
you know, make sure you grab your energy orbs when they drop. Uh, but even considering the constant casting, frankly, his abilities don't cost that much energy, really, to get going. And the likelihood that somebody's going to drop an energy orb out of a big pile if you strategically wait to pull when there's a big group in range. Yeah, that worked out just fine, guys. So that uh, pretty much is kind of where I was looking to get a sense of Dante. Um, just try a few things solo to see how it felt. And I got to say that felt pretty good. Uh, you know, be smart about it when you're doing it. Make an intelligent setup. The Jackal, this could be an interesting fight with Dante. Why don't we finish off there? Why not? Let's let's finish off with the Jackal and see what happens. I'm going to keep it solo. I think this will be an interesting test to round off the day. So far, I'm sticking to my original assessment. I am rather impressed with Dante. The Corpus have continued to refine their most lethal security proxy, the Jackal. Determine its location aboard this vessel and destroy it. One final round. Have to give it a second. I think it takes 35 to cast four. Yep. Okay, so we're just going to hang out here for a minute. We're going to get our energy up. Obviously, don't have to stand in the ring, which somebody pointed out to me. Um, but, you know, just wait here until the transfer finishes. <laughs> and then we'll recast because it won't be quite enough to get him back up to topped off. So we're just going to be patient, set this up correctly to give ourselves the best chance of success. No big deal. It takes a minute. It takes a minute. Parvos Granum. Old Parvos. He and I, we go way back. Okay. I think that's probably sufficient to make the push towards it. So let's just get rolling. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. No real need Keep to going. be messing nobody about with all of here. this stuff. Yeah, nobody knows I'm here. It's a complete mystery. Every Warframe has at its disposal a special blade, a, a Parazon. Yeah, as lethal I to know. technology as it is to flesh, disrupting the jack. Massive flex plates on the torso, but appendages could be a weakness. Just how long this takes. I don't want to burn through all of my fell arcs. 
Okay. If it comes down hard, it could give you an opening. Any second now. There we go. Okay. We'll grapple. Give chase. So yeah, that doesn't really seem to be do too much damage to the uh, jackal itself. So it's looking like we're primarily going to need to be hitting it with uh, weapon damage, not ability damage here. Problem? Overdrive precepts. Watch for increased attack speed. Another little round. Yep, walking into that wall kind of stings. One more turn. Okay, only one more to go. Does make it a little tricky to try to do this without a protective wall. There we go. But yeah, no big deal. Jackal goes down. Well done, Tenno. You have sent a clear message to the Corpus today. Their war profiteering will not go unpunished. Your crowns are safe in my grass bow, Parvel. Protect me! Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Heavy robotic signature detected. Lock and load. Can I get the... Parvel's detector? Probably not. Again? We are unstoppable. No. We are corpus. He got no out. That's fine. Thief. Had to try. Who are you calling the thief? <laughs> oh. If I had had my incarnate latum so at the ready, it probably would have worked better. Oh, look, a rhino chassis. That's fantastic. Either way, guys, yeah, no problem getting through the jackal either. So, yeah, this the is. Has messages for the operator. Yeah, I know my actions Anything have consequences. I'm, a, I'm aware. That's totally fine. So, yeah, that uh, pretty much um, 
kind of just confirmed my suspicions. Played some solo, played played with the group, you know, run, play, however you want to play it. But uh, definitely uh, Dante has 100% earned his place in the lineup of uh, other frames I can use for Steel Path content. So one, fun, uh, getting through a good chunk of Steel Path missions, and two, uh, getting to test another theory and another frame. Now, since he's pretty new, I have no idea if there's any Dante-specific mod available for him out yet. I'm guessing probably not. Maybe there is. I'll poke, poke around and find that down the line if there is. But uh, either way, even with my setup, despite my build probably not being the best, seems to be working just fine. And um, he made it through exactly what I was hoping. So I am confident saying we've now got three. Rhino Prime, Zephyr Prime, well, Rhino, Zephyr, whatever, and now Dante. And uh, definitely looking forward to adding some additional frames to that list. But uh, yeah, he's going to be probably in the standard rotation. And, um, you know, common themes with these frames are survivability, uh, which is why I gravitate to them. Uh, let let the weapons do the talking and just Operator, keep yourself on the feet. Uh, the secrets to happiness. I guess the old the adage of, of heightened the best offense is a good defense. A That's kind of You're my philosophy welcome. camp. Nonetheless, guys, really fun. Very impressed with Dante. Absolutely glad to have one more I can throw into the rotation for Steel Path. And uh, that was a good test that uh, rather proved his value. So relatively short and sweet today, guys. Uh, mission accomplished. Uh, really, really happy with the outlook there. So next video, we're going to be back at it. i um, not going to do another new frame. I'm probably going to be uh, moving forward on the heels of a little background grind work. And uh, then we will continue on to see what the next step takes us. Ideally getting a little closer to being able to craft Garuda and getting a little closer on uh, getting the Kavya standing specifically up for more options for Archon Shard farming. Nonetheless, guys, that is going to do it for today. As always, I do sincerely appreciate you checking in, and we will catch you on the next one.